Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Marcus Falcon here again creating a video. Video for your benefit. And I thought I'd start off uh, in creating this by answering uh, concerns, by addressing your concerns, answering questions that you may have. Uh, people have reached out to me with regards to the current situation right now back home in the Philippines. Uh, it seems to be that uh, there's a lot of concern from my uh, countrymen back home. Uh, if you don't know yet, I am Filipino by birth. And the only time that I left the country was to join the United States Navy, right? Uh, I've had the privilege of being able to retire off it and now leaving as a dual citizen, also of a U.S. citizenship, U.S. citizen. Um, there's a lot of concern uh, on back home, and not just back home, but also here in the United States with regards to the current situation right now happening in the South China Sea in relation to Taiwan, in relation to how China is going to react, how the United States is going to react. Um, and I placed a question on my Facebook page and it also concerns me because people have been asking what do I think about what's going to, what's going to happen back home and the concern of some Americans and most Filipinos really on what what the outcome might be what are the repercussions if you don't know yet I think this is a um, this is going to be complicated for America the Philippines needs help and uh, America, I think, had expressed the desire to help. Now, why am I not concluding taking this any further? Well, let's explore first uh, what's going on back home and the, the, the situation, well, actually, the situation of the Philippines. We already know what's going on back in the South China Sea. Are we. United States Navy and the United States, uh, the armed services of America is going to be stuck, right? Just like what happened, look, there were not even any oil in Afghanistan, but we were there for 20 plus years, okay? We're gonna be in a uh, crosshairs of China just by being in the South China Sea. But you know what? I don't think we have a choice, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow Americans. The reason why is this. Filipinos, the Philippines has been a colony or was a colony of the United States ever since they won the war in 1902, uh, Phil-American War, all the way up to their liberation in 1945. So 1946, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Uh, July 4th, 1946, uh, independence was granted to Filipinos back home. Uh, I was born in 1962. Yes, I'm an old fart. So there are still a lot of sentiments on my part with regards to uh, America being our big brother. You can, if to, to those that has never been to the Philippines, it is like America plus one compared to Guam and Hawaii. Yes, uh, it seems that we never left our colonial past. And there's a reason why we are the third largest English speaking country in the world. The third, right? 140 million Filipinos, I think right now is current census. And more than 80% of us speaks English. Uh, we understand and do speak English. Uh, and a relatively few million actually speaks better than I do. I'm not saying that I'm better at it. I'm just saying that we do are better than the majority of the world. You know, um, that being said, there's a big history of colonialism ever since the Spaniards came in in the 1500s. Here comes the Americans and here comes the Japanese. So there has been war ever since the Spaniards came in. And we are still at war from the 1950s with the Communist Party of the Philippines up until the early 2000s. And also in the 1960s, with the uh, Muslim uh, extremists, which is still ongoing in the Southern Islands. 
And if you don't know yet, the uh, U.S. Special Forces are already assisting us, not just in training, but in the logistical side of it, that are stationed with our armed forces back home, helping battle Muslim extremism, okay? So it's more of a political um, reasoning why America has to be there. Think about this. There were only at that time three colonies of the United States, Puerto Rico, Guam, and the Philippines. Now, with the Philippines being independent, imagine the repercussions if America does not come to its aid in a conflict with any, any external aggressor. Who that may be? I'm not going to highlight. Well, we already know who it is or what it is, right? And even without the Philippines coming into play, I think America is going to be stuck into that quagmire. Okay? We didn't have a choice. Now, think of the worldwide back story if, this, if America does not help the Philippines. Think about it. There are millions of Filipinos like me that have retired back home from the Navy. You know, there are plenty of non-Filipinos, United States Navy, United States Armed Forces personnel with their families retired back home. We have experienced poverty to a level that most Americans will never experience. We're used to being poor. The only Catholic country in Asia the only Catholic country in Asia. 80% of Filipinos are not Muslims. 85, 80% of Filipinos are Christian Catholics, right? We have experienced, I personally have experienced 12 years of martial law, multiple coup d'etats, military takeovers. We are used to being poor. But one thing we are also used to is fighting for our democracy. Think, think of the repercussions, ladies and gentlemen, of what will happen to American prestige if they never come to an aid of a fully democratic country. They have supported Israel, they have supported Japan, South Korea, and all the other, and, and we totally disdain a, demo, uh, a despotic, totalitarian, authoritative ruling country. Wars have been started by despots, and wars have been ended by a democracy. Think about it. That's just my point. We can take this to a further level. We can take this to a situation where, okay, what would happen if we arm them? What would happen to their economy? I'm going to talk about that in another video. But for now, just for political reasons, sorry, but America cannot be an isolationist in this situation, just like Ukraine. It's another topic of discussion. So whoever sits down, whether it be a Democrat or a Republican, to my Filipino brothers and sisters back home, okay, magalala. Nandiyan kami sa likod niyo. To our Americans back here in the United States, and if you are willing to be an isolationist, not in this case, and if you're willing to confront totalitarianism, and a uh, despotic, authoritative, ruling country. This is the way it go. All right, you guys take care. To the men and women out there that are currently serving, it's been a pleasure, a privilege, and an honor to observe. You guys take care. Post.